हेलो एवरीवन होप यू आर लोडिंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस दी थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड बाय वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट एडी सेवन इट्स अ मीडियम मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम हाउ एवर आई आई थिंक इट्स अ इट्स अ गुड प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट अगेन रिलेटेड टू बेट मैनुपलेशन वी हैव बीन सींग दैट वी हैव बीन गेटिंग बेट मैनुपलेशन क्वेश्चन इन प्रॉब्ली एवरी फोर्थ और फिफ्थ कॉन्टेस्ट सो या अ गुड टॉपिक टू लर्न लेट्स जम्प इन टू दी प्रॉब्लम एंड देन वी कैन डिस्कस दी फर्दर थिंग सो द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज स्मॉलेस्ट सब एरेज विथ मैक्सिमम बिट वाइज और Uh, the problem statement says that you are given a zero index array nums of length n consisting of non negative integers uh, now for each index i from 0 to n minus 1 you must determine the size of the minimum sized non empty sub array of nums starting at i uh, that has maximum possible bitwise or don't get confused i'll explain it in the uh, with the help of a diagram so don't get confused the problem statement is pretty i would say <laughs> confusing Uh, in other words let's uh, let b of i j be the bitwise or of the sub array nums of i to j you need to find the smallest sub array starting at i such that the bitwise or of this sub array is equal to max of b of i comma k b b i k basically where k lies between i to n minus 1 now the bitwise or of an array is the bitwise or of all the numbers in it return an integer array answer of size n where answer of i is the length of the minimum sized sub array starting at i with maximum bitwise or now a sub array is a contiguous non empty sequence of elements within the array right uh, so yeah pretty big problem statement uh, let me just pull the code and probably then we can jump to the solution right so yeah what happens so you are given just a second yeah you are given an array in this case suppose 1 0 2 1 3 so what the problem is saying you are given an array suppose the length of this array is 5 So you also need to return an answer array which is of length five, right? Which has the answer for each of the five values, right? For each of the five values. Now, what is the answer of a particular value, right? Let's let's see that. So the answer of a particular value is, suppose I consider, uh, suppose I consider a sub array this, right? Suppose I consider a sub array this. So it says that for i equals to two, this is i equals to two, right? The second index. It says that what is the maximum zor? Uh, sorry what is the maximum or that is possible for any sub array that you, that starts from here right suppose obviously you, when you calculate the or obviously if, if you take all the elements then you get the maximum or right you get the maximum or so for simplicity let's consider there when, when you start from i equals to 2 you take all the elements and you get a particular value in this case 2 or 1 or 3 basically it gives you a value of 3 right so it says that for a particular index i just calculate what is the maximum or that is possible uh, for a sub array that starts with i equals to 2 right this is given now what you need to say suppose you got a maximum or of 3 now you uh, it says that you start from index number i equals to 2 again right and then find the length of the minimum sub array that is start that is starting from this index like from i equals to 2 and tell the length of the minimum sub array starting from i equals to 2 which also has this particular value which also has the value uh, value of maximum or right so first you calculate the or of all the values from i equals to 2 you get a value suppose you get a value 3 and then you st again start from i equals to 2 and see what is the minimum size of the sub array that starts from 2 and whose or is also equals to the maximum or that you have got right this is the problem statement so for, for all i you need to return it right this is the problem now let's see the case for 2 1 and 3 uh, this is a this is a good case to consider so suppose you take all the three elements so 2 can be represented as 1 0 1 can be represented as 0 1 and 3 can be represented as 1 1 so if you take the or so what is the property of or uh, property of or says that for this particular position even if one of the numbers is equals to 1 if one of the bit is set then you get a set bit similarly even if one of them are set you get set right so the value is 3 right the value is 3 so the maximum or that you can get uh, for this sub array is 3 now is it possible to find another sub array starting from this position which also has a value of 3 now let's just see if you just take value 2 then the then the representation of this value will be 1 and 0 obviously since it's a single element you will not take or hence this is not the maximum or because this equals to 2 let's take two values let's take this and this so two can be written as this one can be written as this if you take or you get 1 1 that is 3 so here you are seeing 
even if we take these two elements then we get the value of the maximum or right we get the maximum value of the maximum or hence in this case our answer will be 2 because the length of this sub array is 2 this is the minimum length of sub array now let me take a concrete example and then we'll walk through the uh, thought process right so this is the case right now what is the maximum or first thing you start from here and you calculate the maximum or that you can get obviously the maximum or will be 3 right you take all the elements all the bit positions will be set and hence it will be 3 now start from here what see what is the minimum length of uh, sub array that starts from here which also has a value of 3 when you take the or right so now what will be that 1 and 0 no the or will be 1 what about 1 0 and 2 the or will be 3 which is equal to the maximum value so for 1 what is the minimum size of the sub array having maximum or that is 3 let's come to i equals to 2 sorry i equals to 1 so only if you take only 0 is it possible no it is not possible if you take 0 and 1 is do we get the or as 3 no we do not get if you take 0 2 and 1 do we get or as 3 yes we get so what is the length of this sub array 0 2 and 1 so it is 3 let's start with 2 if you take only 2 do you get a, an or of 3 no if you take 2 and 1 do you get an or of 3 yes so the answer will be 2 because the size of the sub array is 2 that starts from this index let's take 1 now if you only take 1 do you get an or of uh, 3 no you don't get you take 1 and 3 and we are good to go so you get, again get 2 what about this value 3 3 itself is sufficient so the sub array is 1 right so this is the answer that you return right i hope the problem statement is clear now let's move to the thought process right let's move to the thought process so there are a couple of things to notice here now the numbers range from um, again the maximum number can go up to 10 raised to power 9 or i can say there can be at max 31 or 32 bits in each and every number right in each and every number so now what we can do so the first thing is first thing is for all the n numbers for all the n numbers since we need to find a uh, we need to find the value using for a particular index i using the elements present at i and the value elements present after i right so what we can do we can take an approach of something like prefix sum here now how that applies here let's see so suppose you have n values right so what you can do take an array of n cross 32 why because for all the numbers you have 32 positions 0 1 2 and 32 31 basically so these represents the position in the bit representation of that particular number right so uh, like if i talk about 2 so 2 can be represented at as 1 and 0 so this is the 0th bit position this is the first or this is least sig significant bit and so on basic concept of bit manipulation right so for all the n numbers just see which are the set bits in those numbers right which are the set bits so like for example if i take the example of 2 so in 2 what will happen suppose the value is 2 so that means uh, this is the 0th bit this is the first and all or in other way i can write this has a weightage of 1 this has a weightage of 2 this has a weightage of 4 and so on right because 2 raised to 0 is 1 2 raised to 1 is 2 and so on so the position is 0 but the weightage is 1 right so what you do 2 can be written as 0 1 right 4 can be written as 0 0 1 right uh, 5 can be written as uh, 5 can be written as simple 1 0 1 right basic so now what you do you use all the 32 bits for all the n numbers and see what are the set bits right you do that now what you do since these numbers are ordered so you calculate a prefix prefix sum why uh, how you calculate the prefix sum so for all the numbers calculate the prefix sum of all the 32 bits what do i mean by that i mean by that this 2 is represented as 0 1 all these will be 0 right all these will be 0 you come to 4 so this 4 represents that this particular bit will represent that how many numbers do i have including this consider these two numbers like consider the ith index and the number uh, and the numbers before the ith index uh, how many numbers have a set bit here how many numbers have a set bit here so it will be zero what about this consider this position how many numbers uh, at at this index and the indices before this have uh, this bit as the set bit only one because this doesn't four does not have this set bit however two has right similarly come here how many numbers have a set bit here only this 
so total uh, so total will be one right total will be one now come to five how many numbers have a set bit uh, here at this position so how many numbers were there this was zero this was zero however this is one so it will be one what about this position for five it is zero however for four for four also it was zero but for two it was one so total number of set bits are at this position is one total number of ha numbers having set bits at this position is one and let's consider this so this has an n set this is set this is set so you get two however calculating it is an open operation because uh, when you come to five you just see what is the previous value and we are good to go so you calculate the, this prefix array right i'll tell you why we are calculating this prefix array so the first thing is you you do this right also we need to do one more thing we need to do just one more bookkeeping and we are good to go so you have calculated this now the second thing that you need to do is consider the ith bit position right consider the ith bit position now suppose suppose if i consider the array from here to end of the array right from here to end i consider and the maximum zor was something like one 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 just consider it like so that means it was seven so that means i need to find the minimum sub array which which also gives me seven in worst case this sub array will give me seven however is there in a, a particular index j which also gives me like this also gives me seven so what i'll do i need to check what are the set bits right so for to for checking this set bit what i can do so suppose i am considering the ith bit suppose uh, i am talking about the fifth bit so i check that for ith index like for the ith number sorry if the position is 5 like i am talking about the fifth bit and suppose i am talking about the uh, tenth number just take an example so right so for tenth number i will see uh, for for each and every bit position or or for fifth bit i'll see what are the numbers so basically for all the 32 bits now i will keep a set i will keep a set that will basically give me that will basically keep a booking keeping that what are the numbers which have the ith bit as set bit ith bit as set bit right like for in this case fifth bit what are the numbers having fifth bit as set bit now why we are doing this we are doing this because if you are standing at the tenth number right and you know that your maximum zor uh, suppose this is the fifth position right this is the fifth position so you know your zor needs a one right your zor needs a one so greedily if i just talk about this bit then is 10th bit having a set bit th uh, at this position because even if a single number has a set bit at this position we are good to go right however we we, we want to know the closest number to this 10th number it can be 10th number or it can be 12th or it can be 15th or it can be last number so why what we are doing we are keeping a sorted set in this case and we'll do a binary search we'll do a binary search to search that including 10 including 10 if 10 is there we are good to go however if 10 is not there what is the minimum what is the closest number to this 10 in this sub array which has this particular bit as set which has this particular bit as set because if i include that number like it's a compulsion for me to include that number because the maximum zor has this value as set and this is the closest number which i need to take so that the the resultant the resultant is one at this position right so i do that for all the indices which are one i do that for all the indices which are one or which are all the positions which are one and i do this bookkeeping using set uh, so that uh, so that i i know the I know the minimum sub array size that I need, right? So now what I'll do? Suppose for every bit I have maintained a set, and I have this as the maximum zor. So what I'll do? I stand at this position. I stand at the tenth number. Suppose I see what is the max, uh, what is the closest number to this ten, which has this bit as set. I go, I do a binary search on the set uh, for this particular particular bit position. I get it. Suppose. Uh, that is at a distance of two from this here, from here, right? Suppose that is a, at a distance of two. I go to this bit position. This is also set. I check what is the closest number, uh, which is which is which has this bit as set. Suppose that is the eighth number. So that means I am bound to take this eighth number. Hence, the length of the minimum sub array will be at least eight. If the, there would have been one more set bit, I would have checked it, this as well. Suppose it would, it would have been seven, then my answer would have been eight. That. 8 is the minimum length of the sub array that you need so that you get the maximum or right so these are the two things that we do um also why we do this thing we cal why we, we calculate the prefix thing we calculate the prefix thing because when we are calculating that what is the maximum zor 
that I can have from here to the last value because I need to know the maximum or for each I then only I will do the uh, use the set for bookkeeping so what I will do we have calculated the prefix array for all the bit position right so what I will do if I want to calculate the maximum or for the ith position uh, so what I will do you go to the last element of the array suppose I talk about the first position right uh, sorry first place so check how many total set bits are here suppose it is x right and you are the ith position ith number you check what is the number of set bits still here suppose this is y right now if x equals equals y that means all the numbers here after i till i from i plus 1 to the nth number all the numbers have a set bit of 0 here right however if y is less than x then it tells me then at least one of the numbers has one here right that means the resultant from i a to the nth number the, the max or will have a when one at this position at the 1th position right so for that we are keeping we are doing a bookkeeping so we simply calculate the diff of the last position uh, calculate the diff of the i th position with the last number that we have for each and every position and we get the max or right let's jump into the code and probably you will get a better better feel of the uh, solution so yeah starting from line number 14 um, uh, you 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 go to line number 18 here i have i've calculated the prefix bit count again that is n plus 1 to 32 for all the for all the n numbers and 32 positions why i have taken n plus 1 just for simplicity so that maintaining the indices are easy right go to line number 19 i have taken a list of tree set why i have taken a list of tree set because uh, for each and every bit position i need to know what are the numbers having that bit position as set right uh, so yeah on line number 21 basically i have for all the bit position i have added a tree set right for simplicity now start the loop from line number 24 this loop is basically to compute the prefix bit count array so what you are doing you can see what is the current number on line number 25 the current position is obviously zero now while current is greater than zero if this bit is set then what you do Pre on line number 29 prefix of bit count i plus one because we are using using indexing from one in, in this prefix array and position equals to 1 that means for this particular number the current position that is POS is set and then what you do next set bit positions the set that we have taken get the set for the current uh, bit that we are considering and add the i uh, add i there i is basically representing the ith number right and then you do current divided by 2 and position plus plus simple stuff on line number 35 what you are doing I told you we need to calculate the prefix sum hence for the ith position that is represented by i plus 1 we are just adding the previously computed value so that we know that till ith position each and every uh, for till the ith number each and every bit position has total number of these many set bits right so this is for that move to line number 40 uh, what I have done uh, on line number 41 I have called a utility function get max or set bit positions. So in that I will pass the prefix array that I have calculated i plus 1 and n. Let's move to that function. On line number 4 you can see I have created an array list. So why this array list? So this array list will have all the positions where uh, so basically what we are calculating from ith index we are calculating what is the maximum or that we can get. Now the maximum or that we can get will be dependent on all the elements that we have from the ith index to the end of the array right. So on line number 6 what I am doing, I am calculating prefix of bit count end index. Now end index will be the last number in my array for the ith position minus start index. Now this is the ith, ith bit that I am considering. Uh, I passed it on line number uh, 41 right. I am doing it for all the numbers. So that is why you, you do that. You do that for all the bits from i equals to 0 to 32 on line number 5. Now if diff is greater than 0 that means if if there is a difference between the sum uh, if there is a difference between the values for the ith bit in the nth number and the ith number so what you do you add that into the set bit positions because that will tell you that uh, okay this bit is set in in the maximum or value and then finally you return it set bit positions right on line number 11 now when you get that set uh, that the, uh, that list you check whether the size is zero or not i've just added an extra condition here for the case of 0 and answer equals to 1 in that case and you continue however if it's a normal case then you traverse on line number 46 you traverse each and every value 
that you have got in the maximum zor just check what is what is the bit position that is represented by the current position right karpos now you fetch the set you fetch the set so that set will be next set bit position got current position that means if i am talking about the ith bit then give me the set of the ith bit that set will contain all the numbers which have ith bit as set bit right now answer of i equals to math dot max of answer of i comma set dot higher why i have done this because uh, suppose if i am at the 10th number right so what are the possibilities 10th number also had the has has this bit bit as set bit or 10th number doesn't have the set bit now my set is sorted right it's a tree set my set is sorted that contains that what are the numbers that has this bit as set bit right so what i do i do a set dot higher now set dot higher will give me the minimum value in the set which is greater than the value that i provided now for the 10th bit if i provide 10 then 10 will not be included there however i want that if 10 also had that has that bit as set then i get 10 as well so that is why what i've done i've done i've passed i minus 1 in the set right and then minus i plus 1 this is just because suppose you are at the 10th bit and 10th bit is set so you do 10 minus 10 plus 1 the length of the sub array will be 1 right so that is why that's just to handle the boundary case right so and finally you compute it for all the i and you return the answer right so yeah this is my solution um, i know there are a number of things to observe in this question but again if you are familiar with bit manipulation uh, it will be uh, a, a good problem to solve right so you, uh, again if you have any queries do mention that into the comments i'll to, i'll try to resolve each one of them i'll try to i have tried to explain um, at the best of my effort but yeah even if you have any queries do mention that also if you like this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel uh, uh, if you want to connect we can connect on linkedin as well the the, the link is mentioned to the comments uh, yeah so yeah uh, just just mention what you have in your mind um, in the comment and try i'll try to revert on each one of them take care bye bye